Okay, hey, hope everybody's doing well still. Today we're gonna talk a little bit more about the capture group adapter to use a digital back on the Fuji GX680, which I had in the other video. I've had a few questions about this and how it works and what cables you need and the hookup and that kind of thing and what works and what doesn't work. So uh, I have a P30 back. I bought it new a long time ago with the H1 system Hasselblad. Uh, which I've never really used, maybe five, six times. Uh, just really don't like the feel of this camera focus is too close, too slow, whatever. Uh, much prefer the, the 680. So, but anyway, let's get back to uh, the back here and the adapter back. So when you find one of these on eBay or wherever you find it, if you can find one, make sure that you're the mount of your, obviously mine's a Hasselblad mount, so you need to make sure your capture group mount is the same for whatever your back is, otherwise it's a piece of junk. <laughs> you can throw it away. So it's a pretty simple uh, mount onto the back of this thing. Somewhat simple, I should say. There's a little slot right here for the back, the bottom of the back, and then this locks it in at the top. But there's a little, tiny little thing right here, which you have to, I do, I put in, a screwdriver beforehand to move it over and then put the back on here slide it in make sure it lines up push it in tight let it release and then make sure it's on there nice and good like that so it's on nice and solid so you got that it's on there good then you just line up the back here goes on a certain way. I've got a little mark. There it is right there. So I can line up this dot and that dot. Mount it right in like that. Line the two up. Clip it on. And then I rotate it one more time like that. And we're good to go. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Don't need that out here. All right, so next we've got to attach this to the camera. And it's got a couple different mounts. All these cords need to work and be plugged in this into the sink. You've got one that goes into the sink right there and one that goes into the remote shooting area, remote cord right there. I've tried not hooking it up and not using that and trying to use some other thing and it wouldn't fire. So you need to have that. Then you've got this other little adapter which came with the uh, capture group when I purchased it uh, for the Fuji it's so it can fit into the hustle the p30 back and it just plugs in right here and then plugs in onto the side over here and this is what fires the actual back and controls it then you've got your trigger release right here button which plugs right into the back get this out of the way a little bit plugs into the back of this like that and I put a little white tape on mine just because in the dark it always seemed to be lost and I couldn't find the dang thing so I put a little white tape on there so then once you have that on there you're going to set your shutter speed to whatever else you're shooting so we make sure these two things match so I've got that at a 60th this at a 60th, so they're all set to go there. Then the other thing, which I didn't mention the time before, is that if you're using this digital back on the back, the uh, focusing screen that's in here is not right. So if you use the standard screen that comes with this, whatever you shoot will be out of focus. So it comes when I bought it, it came with another focusing screen, which you can see the thickness of it is raised it up to get the focus point to the right point. So you have to put that in so your focus point is at the right spot. Otherwise, everything's out of focus. So then you got that all set up. Then the next problem you have to come up with is that it's FireWire 400 into the back of the camera. So then you need this little adapter here, which I will put a link to. You can still buy these online. 
I will put a link to this where you can find it at Adorama. So this is 400 to 800. So then you go into that and then 800 to lightning bolt. So then that goes into there. And we'll plug this thing in real quick to the back of the computer. And you might have heard it powered on the back because my battery's dead for the back. But it, once you cook up the Fireware 400, it powers the back. So now that everything's set up, the other trick to this guy that you don't know about is that you want to turn the camera and the camera back on before you launch Capture One uh, software that you're going to shoot to. Um, for some reason, if you turn the software on first before the back, it, it doesn't see the back. So I make sure I always have this powered on first, then I relaunch the software, and then everything will fire, just like that. Um, there is also, you can trigger from the back, from the controller right here as well, so you don't really need to use all this cord. It just makes it easier to have the cord out there. But um, again, you need to put the camera down in uh, multi on the side right here. Make sure you've got it down to multi on this far end down there if you're using that. So you've got your off, sing, sing, single, uh, continuous, and multi. So it's got to be down there. Um, firing from here, it fires the camera, but it's not taking any shots that works with this. So you need to definitely use this to make anything go through through the camera. So that would be, let me just double check on here what I've got coming through. Set this over here real quick and we'll just do a quick little test to make sure that's coming through. So I know my exposure is way down here. What the, we'll go wide open, three, two, and I got it at a second. So reset this over to a second and then fire away. See what comes through here. It's a little slow. Okay, we're looking dark because I got the lens cap on. <laughs> there we go. Fire that. There we go, that looks good. So again, with, make sure that you've got when you buy this thing, if you can buy it online, eBay, wherever, that if they're selling this with the, with the adapter back for your back and everything, make sure you're getting all the cables needed. The adapter that goes onto the back of the, I hate all these cables. Uh, make sure you're getting this adapter that goes with it because I, I have no idea where you'd find that now, maybe online, but I, I haven't seen it. And um, make sure you get that and you get the focusing screen that's the adjusted for the back depths. So otherwise you're gonna be trying to figure out, well, it'd be impossible really to figure out where to focus, back focus, so you'd be looking at everything out of focus, which wouldn't be good. So I would make sure you, that they off, they're offering that focusing screen to go with the, the adapter and the, all the controllers and all the cables. Um, finding Fireware 400 cables and all that other stuff, easy to do on eBay, Adorama, wherever. Big truck outside the studio, if you heard that. Uh, so everything's easy to find. A uh, nine volt battery operates this guy from the back. So that's simple stuff there. Again, lots of cables, which I hate. But um, yeah, again, and trying to fire from here it doesn't, doesn't send anything to the computer. You need to be doing it through this or else the back just has an error, two shot error it gives you. So, okay, I hope that answers uh, questions that people had and how this hooks up. If you have any more questions, just put it in the comments and I'll answer it if I know or if I don't know or if I can point you in the right direction, I'll do that. Uh, but just make sure you get uh, the back matches your back mount type. You get the focusing screen that's in here that's adjusted right because you don't want to use the regular one, otherwise everything's going to be out of focus. You get all the cables that come with it, so you've got the right attachments and uh, the little adapter you can get to go with from Adorama, so that's easy firewire down to 400 up to lightning bolt. Um, so you should all be good there. Again, everybody stay safe. And for now, till next time, I'm out.